Hi, in this video we're going to look at a continuous random variable x and determining probability uh, by looking at the area under its probability density function little f of x. So we have an example for this and let's just get to that. Let the continuous random variable x denote the diameter of a hole drilled in sheet metal component. Historical data show that the distribution of x can be modeled by a probability density function. So here's the probability density function f of x is given by 20 e to the negative 20 times x minus 12.5. Um, before I started this video, I drew this graph. So this is a graph of the probability density function. And x is the whole diameter. So you can see um, here the whole diameter was defined as x is bigger than 12.5 millimeters. And so we start this function at 12.5 millimeters and get larger. And you can imagine this makes sense, right? You're, you're drilling this hole um, in sheet metal. And it's very possible, right? The, there, there's um, a diameter 12.5, we'll say. And, and it could get a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Um, so I think it's important to note here just the way that the um, support for the random variable is given. That these are the values of x um, in which the random variable is defined for. You can see that this is given as an interval. All x is bigger than 12.5, which if they had not told me in the problem I had a continuous random variable, this would have tipped me off right here. Um, because I, I don't see over here listed for its support something like x equals 12, x equals 13, x equals 14. When you list the values of the support or indicate um, like integer values, for example, that, that tells you you have a discrete random variable. And we don't have that here. We have a nice continuous random variable where the diameters are just, you know, could get slightly bigger and I have a nice continuous model. Okay, so let's forget this. We don't have this situation. So um, going on to the problem, um, a part with a diameter greater than 12.6 millimeter is scrapped. So the total area under this curve is 1, and we're going to scrap any part who has a diameter for that hole bigger than 12.6 millimeters. So if you want to think of it, um, right here is your scrap region. Any part that has the, you know, the hole bigger than 12.6 millimeters is going to be scrapped. So what I'd like to do is figure out what proportion of parts is going to be scrapped. In other words, what proportion of parts uh, lay in this region bigger than 12.6. Now to do that, we're going to have to integrate um, area under a curve. So in the curve that defines um, the diameters are given by this function, little f of x. So um, probability of scrap is the probability of being in the region 12.6 to infinity under this density function, which is 20e to the negative 20 x minus 12.5 millimeters dx. OK, so we have to go back a little bit in time um, to calculus to find this guy's antiderivative. It's fairly nice. This is an exponential function. So we take his antiderivative. We get negative e to the negative e to the negative 20 x minus 12.5. And I'm going to integrate this from 12.6 to infinity. And I, I feel like I'm being a, a slightly illegal here. Um, I'm not going to put infinity in for x, so let me put little quotes around it as if that will make it better. But what I'm really thinking of in this case, I'm going to take the limit um, as x goes to infinity. So when I, I'm not actually sticking infinity here, but I'm looking at this function here as x goes to infinity. And you can see that e to the negative 20, um, that would give you, if you just look at that term, it's 1 over e to the 20x. And as x goes to infinity, um, this whole term right here is going to go to 0. So when I, I don't want to say stick in infinity, but my first term I'm going to get when I evaluate as limit as x goes to infinity, I'm going to get 0. And then I'm going to subtract off, putting 12.6 into that function, negative e to the negative 20. 12.6 minus 12.5. OK, and then this is equal to, I looked a little scratchy there, but that'll turn out to be e to the negative 20. And 12.6 minus 12.5 is 0.1, which is e to the negative 2, which is approximately 1.135. 
Okay, so let me just remind you what we did. We had a continuous random variable x. Um, here's its nice density function. As we know from earlier chapters, area under this curve total area is 1. Um, we know that the area past 12.6 is the region in which we're going to scrap parts that were made with uh, with holes that had diameters were too large. To find this proportion uh, of parts that were being scrapped, we integrated from 12.6 to infinity, found the antiderivative, found the probability, and there we are. So with a continuous random variable to find probabilities, we're, we're integrating. So I hope this makes sense, and uh, we'll go on with some others then. Okay, uh, we'll talk later.